Okay, uh, this is part four of my solar batch water heater. And uh, what I'm doing here, I've got a, uh, I've got a coil that I took apart and this is one just exactly like it right here and uh, what I did it's got some oil in it um, I cut the uh, I cut these off cut cut these out I took all the screws here out and I, I separated these two coils and then I uh, actually the screws lined up so I just sandwiched two of them together and then uh, I cut the uh, the fins back and uh, got to my copper where these these two right here and also these two here now these actually these pieces of pipe right here the small ones they run on up inside there so when you cut those off make sure you get that out because that'll actually there'll be a couple of inches of that sticking up on inside the copper and uh, so anyway, what I wanted to show you here, this is a much easier way to, uh, this is a much easier way to solder this thing up because you're only having to get two of them uh, done at a time. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, this is something that you have just a little bit of skill with soldering you're going to be able, you'll be fine. Uh, this is actually a 6% brazing rod. And uh, it's what they use in air conditioning, which that's what this is, an evaporator coil. Now you got to get it, you got to get this stuff pretty hot. And that's why it's so much stronger than like regular uh, plumbing solder is because it has a much higher uh, uh, temperature at which it melts at, so it, it's it's a lot stronger. So I've got it cherry red now, and my my solder's beginning to flow, or my brazing rod beginning to flow now. So what I'm trying to do is just get this sealed up really well, and it's kind of hard to see the back side there, but. I haven't really done that side yet, but I'll try to get at it at this angle here, and uh, put a little bit of flow back in there. After you get it all soldered up, you want to check to make sure that you don't have any cracks uh, in the, uh, the joint. That's mainly what you're going to be looking for is to see if there's any any little gaps in your your soldering joint and uh, if you get it at the right temperature it'll just it'll stay a little bit more uh, not quite so liquefied now this tip is not real cheap this is I'm using a map gas uh, actually, the tip on this torch uh, is about a hundred dollars, but uh, I use it in in my work, and so um, it, it's real important that I that I have a pretty decent tip. And I like using map gas. Honestly, uh, I recommend map gas personally over uh, oxygen acetylene because trying to do something like this with oxygen and acetylene torch you're probably going to just burn a hole slap through it if you're not careful all right we're just going to let that cool for a minute and uh, we'll take a, a wet rag Let's see i'll be right back i just gotta get some water and we're gonna cool it down, and uh, heck, I'll just throw a little bit of water on it, and uh, so, and it's not gonna hurt. I guess I want to get my torch out of there. 
Uh, of course, that's what we're going to be flowing through it anyway. Now what I want to do is I want to try to inspect it the best I can. I'll just take a flashlight and, and look around there. It looks like... I don't know if that's... There's a little spot there. I'm not sure about. If you're not sure, you're just better off rehitting it because it's easier to do now than later. Other than this one spot, I think I've got it. And uh, so, anyway, again, uh, I took I took this old coil here, and uh, I just cut the uh, cut the joints cut the joints off right here cut all those off and got rid of this same thing down here I took I took these I took it apart and uh, took the ends off and here's what I came up with this is ready to this is ready for a piece of pipe I'm gonna put a <laughs> my hands are filthy I'm gonna put a half inch piece of pipe on here half inch piece of pipe on here then I'm gonna join those two together and uh, and then I'm gonna do the same thing what I'm doing over here I'm, I've got a half inch piece of pipe here I'm gonna put a half an inch, half inch piece of pipe down here and then I'm gonna join the two pieces with three quarters so that'll give me actually three quarters of water flow and uh, and so I'm on, that's going to be a, a space heater that's small and uh, I could actually turn this into a whole house heater and uh, I'm just uh, I want to give my solar batch water heater a little more time it looks like it's going to be pretty good um, but the problem is is uh, I, I really I need more water storage and I want to store some more hot water in the house and then that way I can be sure and, uh, and not be running out and uh, so that that's what I'm working on I, I'm trying to pick up another water heater for for more storage but that's it hope you've enjoyed my videos